Welcome to part eight to our component based space shooter series. In this video, we're going to be setting up our enemies so that they can uh, get hit without just destroying themselves. So the first thing we're going to need to add to our enemy is a hurt component. And I'm going to be adding this to and make sure it's a hurt component and not a hurt box component. I'm going to be adding this to the base enemy scene that we inherit from so that all our enemies will have this. Now the hurt component needs a stats component and a hurt box component. And it essentially provides the, it, its job is to connect the hurt box to the stats. So whenever you get hurt, um, your stats, you lose stats. So we can grab our hurt box and grab our stats. Now this could also be done just in code here, but I did make a component for this, so we will use that component. Now, instead of connecting to our hurt box hurt function here, uh, and queuing free like we have, what we're gonna do instead is shake the enemy, scale it, and also flash it. So inside of here, we'll say, scale component dot queen scale and then we'll say flash component dot flash and shake component dot queen shake and that should be it um, now inside of our stats here our enemy still only has if we come back to our green enemy okay we did give our green enemy three health so I just wanted to make sure that it had uh, more than just um, one health. Now what we can do is connect to our stats component dot no health. Let's see. Stats component dot. There is a stats component dot no health signal. I'm pretty sure. State. Oh, that's a. Uh, So for some reason, I have it as a state component. So that was a mistake on my end. And what it did is it made it so I didn't have autocomplete. So I didn't notice until I went to go connect to the signal and didn't have correct autocomplete. But make sure that your stats component is a stats component and not a state component, which we will use later. So stats component dot no help. There's the signal I was looking for. Dot connect. And then we can just connect to Q3 like this. So now our enemy should shake, scale, and flash each time it's hit. And it won't actually free until it has no health left. That's the signal from our stats component. Let's watch this to make sure this is working. There we go. And we do get we do get that shaking and flat and flashing. Of course, on the last hit, it just vanishes because it's freeing. So we'll need to fix that, and we'll be doing that in the next video. So thank you so much for watching this one. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.